For this mini project, we are making an expenses table. We are given how much we spent this month. So we spent $220 on utilities, $280 on food, etc. So let's fill that into the table here. 220 on utilities. So then we want to uh, calculate the total here for our monthly spending. So to calculate the total, we can just do an equation. So we type equals, and then the equation or the function we're going to be using is the sum function. So we type sum, and then we do a parenthesis. And then what we can do is we can just click and drag all the cells that we want to sum. So it says B3 colon B8. So that's saying start at B3 and then go all the way to B8. So that's saying do a range of cells. And then sum all them together. We can close the parenthesis and hit enter. And then it adds or sums all of those expenses together. And then for the projected annual spending, if we spend this much each month to get the annual spending, we just multiply the monthly spending by 12. So we're going to do an equation again, so equals. And then the monthly spending, so in this case for utilities, that's B3 times, that's the star, 12. And we can hit enter, and then that calculates projected annual spending. And then we don't have to type that in each time. We can drag fill that down here. And so what it will do, we can see and look, this is doing B4 times 12. This one's doing uh, B5 times 12. So it's multiplying by 12. That's the formula that it, it followed. Um, and then we can just sum this again to get more practice. So sum, parenthesis, and then we can, we can type it as, as well. So C3 colon C8 and then close the parenthesis hit enter and it adds up our projected uh, annual spending so this is how much we expect to spend um, over the year and then this is what we're given in the problem the last year spending so we can see here uh, over the entire year last year this is how much we spent on each of these uh, categories so we can just fill those in and now that we have the last year spending all filled out, we can do the same thing to sum to get our total uh, last year spending. So equals sum parenthesis, and then we're doing from D3 to D8, close the parenthesis, hit enter, and that's how much we spent last year. Now we want to calculate the percent change from last year to this year. So to calculate percent change, we do new value minus the old value divided by the old value. So here we'll do equals the new value, which is C3 minus the old value, which is D3. And then we want to divide this difference by the old value. And so we need to tell Excel to do the correct order of operations. So we want to put this difference in parentheses. And then we divide by the old value, which is D3. Hit enter, and that calculates the percent change. Now notice this is a negative percent change because the last year spending was 3,360 for utilities. And then the, this year's projected spending is 2,640. So that's a decrease in spending. So that's why it's a negative percent change here. And then we can just drag fill this all the way down. And actually, we can drag fill even into the totals because this will do the percent change in the total. So last year we spent 26,880. This year we're, we're projected to spend $20,520. And so these are the percent changes. And these are actually all negative, which means we are spending less money in each of these categories or the same amount of money in each of these categories this year compared to last year.